I've been reading quite a lot of enthusiastic comments on the MDMA plus 2CB combination, Nexus flipping. Seemed like almost everybody is excited about it, and almost nobody had a bad experience. With the exception of people taking ridiculously high doses of some of these two substances. I guess this is not that surprising, as people tend to be enthusiastic about their good experiences. Usually not wanting to take a part in sharing what catastrophic stuff happened to them. I'm writing this report to balance the material one may find in the wild internets when looking for a reference. My attitude to 2CB is overall positive. Usually I have a good time taking it with my friends in some 15 to 25 milligram oral doses. I don't feel that much of a body load or the body effects at all. I don't feel particularly good towards the euphoric way. I feel just like having a good time, laughing, having that fellow feeling with my co-trippers, but far less than with MDMA, and feeling like exploring the world and its mysteries, but to less extent than with LSD. I still feel I have a work to do to understand 2CB, but that is fine. I have time and I am willing to be patient with it. My history with MDMA is more rich. During the last two years, I have been taking it once per month on average. Not being a big fun on redosing, just taking my 140 milligram and flow with the flow. To the story. It was a home party with my girlfriend at her place. We took 140 milligram MDMA each and had a great time, spending most of it in the bed, talking about our lives, issues, and appreciating the nice bits of each other. Relationship maintenance, some call it. Calming down the running trains of our everyday lives to remind ourselves that appreciation of the small things is what we want to live for. Sinking our inner songs. Being together with no tend to rush anywhere, with no demands on each other. It was simply great. And we had leftovers in our M stash. And we did not resist to try to redose with it. I think there was about 100 milligram for each of us. And we snorted that during some half an hour. I was getting some kicks from it. Although it felt more speedy and less MDMA. Probably due to too much time we left pass from the initial dose. I believe we took the booster some three hours after. My girlfriend told me she felt nothing from the booster. After contemplating what to do next with our evening, I started to play with the thought to put a bit of 2CB on top of our MDMA. Do you want an all-night flight? I remember saying myself to her with the 2CB bag in my hand. So we did it. 2CB HBR. 10 milligram insufflated each at T plus 3.5 hours. And we felt the effects almost immediately. We managed to smoke a cigarette before the heavy body load got me to my knees. Quite literally. Because I left to the toilet and started to vomit quite abruptly. It wasn't easy because I had nothing in my stomach. And also the visual effects started to kick in. And the room and everything in it started to move around. It was physically very exhausting. When I felt safe to leave the bathroom, I felt like I was coming up more and more. I sit into an armchair where I stayed for most of the evening. I closed my eyes. I felt like being in a dream. It felt almost like falling asleep with non-sensual dreamlike sequences being played behind my eyelids. I couldn't say whether it was pleasant or unpleasant, But I could barely move, so I decided to go with this. After some unknown amount of time, I opened my eyes, feeling confused, realizing where I am and what I've been doing. So I closed my eyes again. My girlfriend was lying in the bed, experiencing something very similar. The first hour after snorting the bees, we were mostly transitioning between dreamy sleep and being confused of what is going on. 
It is notable that we couldn't really recall what was in that dream. I guess we were exhausted from all the MDMA, starving, smoking, and also the day itself. But the stimulation effect from 2CB prevented us from passing out. Maybe also MDA, as an MDMA metabolite, playing a role in the closed eyes visual plays, but who knows. After the first hour, it all started to be somehow okay. I started to partly enjoy all this madness. Did a bit of guitar playing, rolling myself on a carpet, and other fun stuff. At two hours, 2CB mark, I felt completely shitty again. My girlfriend managed to persuade me to ingest some food, thankfully, which helped, and I fell asleep quite shortly. All in all, it was a truly dumb idea to combine the drugs in this fashion. It is easy to feel enthusiastic about doing more fun substances when already on such a fun substance as MDMA is. On the other hand, now I know. Good. I started to plan ahead the dosages when doing MDMA at all, and it works so far. I tried snorting 2CB two more times after this experience, and it was a roller coaster every time. First 20 minutes gives me a very strong nausea. However, I was able to hold it out without vomiting. The trips were quite strong, and very nice after this initial sick period. That being said, I decided to never snort 2CB again. Partly because of the nausea and confusion for the first half an hour, and also because of the nose pain it accompanies. Usually, there is a slow pattering and a moving of my visual world when I am doing 2CB. The slow gradual movement is not dissimilar to that of alcohol in the stages where I already feel quite sick, which doesn't help. The visuals, both open and closed eyes, I got in my story, were far stronger and more LSD-like. I remember we couldn't really look into our faces, as they were morphing and looking very inhuman. My thought at that time was, people are having sex on this drug? Not possible. Well, not with this dosage and set indeed. This experience was a difficult one, but I don't consider it a bad one. I can imagine a very synergistic relation between MDMA and 2CB, and I will try this again the right way. The realization for me is that 2CB and MDMA is not a foolproof combination, even with moderately high doses. When I did already come down from MDMA, it was probably too late to start having a super great time again. This is something I should have realized when the MDMA booster didn't work as expected. Not sure if I didn't realize that, or just didn't want to. <laughs>